location, obviously, uh, but it was going to do good things for our community and our county. So I uh, just appreciate you guys being here. Will. Thank you for having us. Um, I'm not a speaker, but I do like to talk. <laughs> First, I want to welcome everybody here and thank Kate here and uh, for the vision they had. But first, I just want to touch on Dean Hilton and Chad for the vision, Chad's brothers, for the visions they have for this county. Not only got a piece of property here turned into a beautiful facility, they made a beautiful church in Elizabeth Town, a beautiful school in Elizabeth Town. They've done so much for our communities. All day. Congratulations. Thank you for the support. You know, this really speaks to Bladen, right? No matter what the advancement is, how big, how small, boy, Bladen. Seven or eight years ago, Charles Ray, Commissioner Ray, Charles saying, Mike, you got to get over to White Lake, all right? So Commissioner took us a little bit, but we're here. And when we got here, we got here in a real way. You know, we are real believers that people should stay local for their health care, right? There are some things that you just don't want to be driving distances for, right? Health care is not one of those. You need, you want to stay local. We're really proud of what our physician-led hospital does. Dr. Wells understands health care better than most, right? And, and her vision to continue to grow and expand this access here in Bladen County is what results in facilities like this. So again, thank you for all of your support. Thank you for continuing to, to come out and show that support. We can't thank you enough. We're very proud of what we're doing here in Bladen County. Thank you. Our Cape Fear Valley leadership, Mitch Mikowski, Dan, um, the other team members who, who really support Bladen County. And I sometimes show up with some crazy stuff that I want to try. And I have to say thank you for giving me the opportunity to do those things. Um, Ashley, thank you very much for the work that you've done. Tommy, thank you very much for the work that you've done as well. Um, my job is to introduce the staff here. She gave me a card and said, do this. So. Um, I want to introduce uh, Dr. Jose Vergara. Dr. Vergara uh, will spend time here on Wednesdays and Friday mornings to start. Um, he's an internist and I think will do a great job here. I also want to introduce Jennifer Smith. Jennifer is a family nurse practitioner and she's been holding it down since we opened on the 9th. Thank you very much. Um, I want to also introduce Shelly Hill, uh, the nurse here, and uh, our front desk coordinator, Ann Kinlaw. I also want to uh, introduce uh, Hunter Baltziegler. Hunter is our new practice administrator for Bladen County area, and he can't wait to get in and help us improve and grow. Hunter. Do we have any additional staff here from Bladen Hospital? If you will, just raise your hand. There we go. There we, go. we do have uh, Diana, our chief nursing officer. Diana and I have been here for two years now. Um, I just want to tell you a little bit of a little bit about what we're doing here in Bladen County, and thank you again for for your support. We uh, purchased Dr. Cottle's office, and he is now relocated to our Clarkton office, and is doing a great job there. We continue our partnership with the community college, Dr. Fent and his team right, there. Watch your fingers. Oh. <laughs> Ready? Dial. 